Hello, I'm your friendly flight attendant. Welcome aboard the new Boeing 737. This lesson presents the emergency equipment available on this fabulous new airplane. The oxygen system consists of two separate systems, flight crew and passenger oxygen. The flight crew system supplies oxygen to three masks for the pilots and observer. The passenger oxygen system has individual chemical generators. Passenger oxygen masks drop down automatically when the cabin altitude is too high or when the pilots manually select passenger oxygen from the flight deck. The emergency exit lighting system has exterior and interior lights powered by batteries if normal electrical power fails. These lights direct passengers along defined escape routes. During an emergency, the passengers exit through four entry doors and four overwing exits. Flight crew members can evacuate the airplane through two side windows. Emergency equipment found on the flight deck includes a Halon fire extinguisher, flashlights, life vest, crash axe, full face oxygen mask, PBE, and escape straps. This is the emergency equipment found in the cabin. The 737 flight crew and passenger oxygen systems are similar to those of other Boeing airplanes. The flight crew oxygen system has a single oxygen cylinder. Each pilot and observer has an oxygen mask and regulator. The oxygen mask can be put on very quickly with one hand. The flight crew oxygen pressure indicator is located on the aft overhead panel. During pre-flight, make sure the pressure meets minimum dispatch requirements. Stowage boxes for each flight crew oxygen mask are located here and contain controls to operate and test the mask. To remove the mask, you squeeze together the two red levers, then pull the mask from the stowage box. The oxygen mask has an inflatable harness. A microphone is controlled by a switch on the audio control panel. And a regulator. The system starts to supply oxygen to the regulator when the left door of the stowage box opens. When the stowage box door is closed, notice the oxygen on flag in view. To turn off the oxygen, push the reset test slide lever. Turn off the oxygen now. Notice that the oxygen on flag is removed from view. Now let's look at the regulator in more detail. When you squeeze the red release levers together, the oxygen mask harness inflates for quick and easy donning. With the oxygen mask and harness in place on your head, release the levers. When the red levers are released, the oxygen mask harness deflates and holds the oxygen mask securely in place. With the normal 100% switch in the normal position, the system provides an air-oxygen mixture to the regulator. Now push the normal 100% switch to supply 100% oxygen to the oxygen mask. With the switch in this position, the system supplies 100% oxygen to the regulator at all cabin altitudes. During the pre-flight, select the 100% position. 
When you select emergency, the system supplies 100% oxygen under positive pressure. Turn the emergency selector now. The system supplies 100% oxygen under pressure to the oxygen mask at all cabin altitudes. To check the oxygen system while the oxygen mask is stowed, you push the reset test slide lever. When you push the slide lever, you hear the flow of oxygen and see the yellow cross in the indicator window. Now check the oxygen system. The sound of oxygen and the yellow cross show that the system operates correctly. You can also test the emergency oxygen selector. Push and hold the emergency oxygen selector. Now push the reset test slide lever. The sound of oxygen and the yellow cross confirm that pure oxygen is available under positive pressure. To check the oxygen mask microphone, you use the oxygen mask controls and the audio control panel. First, select the flight interphone transmitter selector. Adjust the flight interphone receiver volume. Next, select and adjust the flight deck loudspeaker. Push and hold the reset test slide lever. Now, push and hold the emergency oxygen selector. Finally, select intercom on the push to talk switch. The sound of oxygen is audible over the flight deck loudspeaker and the yellow cross appears on the stowage box. Passenger oxygen is provided by individual chemical oxygen generators located in the passenger service unit above each seat group. Passenger oxygen is also available at each flight attendant seat location and in each lavatory throughout the cabin. Passenger oxygen masks deploy automatically if cabin altitude reaches approximately 14,000 feet. The passenger oxygen masks can also be deployed manually from the flight deck. To activate the system, raise the switch guard and move the passenger oxygen switch to on. This causes passenger oxygen masks throughout the cabin to drop. Activate the passenger oxygen system now. The passenger oxygen on light illuminates when the passenger oxygen masks automatically deploy or if activated by the passenger oxygen switch. After the masks drop down, pull on one mask to activate all masks in the unit. An inline green flow indicator confirms that oxygen flows to each oxygen mask. If a passenger oxygen mask compartment fails to open, insert a small object such as a pen or hairpin into this slot to release the door. The door opens and all oxygen masks drop. The 737 has an emergency lighting system that operates independently of the airplane electrical system by various remote batteries. The airplane electrical system charges the batteries in the emergency lighting system. Interior emergency lights are under the stowage bins to illuminate the aisle and in the ceiling to illuminate the area near the exits. There are escape path lights on the seats on the right side of the aisle and illuminated arrows and exit signs are on the ceiling and sidewall panels at all exit doors.
Exterior emergency exit lighting includes the escape slide lights at the forward and aft entry doors. Two fuselage mounted lights illuminate overwing escape routes and ground areas. The emergency exit lights are controlled from a guarded three position switch on the forward overhead panel. When the emergency exit lights system is off, the not armed light is illuminated. If you remove electrical power from the airplane, the emergency exit lights do not come on. During pre-flight, you close the switch guard to move the switch to the armed position. Arm the emergency exit lights. In the armed position, all emergency exit lights come on if DC bus number one electrical power is off. Each light has a battery that provides power for the duration of an emergency evacuation. The on position is used to manually turn on the emergency lights. The emergency exit lights can also be controlled from a switch on the aft flight attendant panel. Turn on the emergency exit lights. All emergency exit lights come on. In an emergency, you can escape from the flight deck through the flight deck door or through the captain's or first officer's side windows. Escape straps stowed overhead are provided for evacuation through the side windows. The escape straps are checked during pre-flight. Since they are both identical, let's only look at the captain's side. Push the button to open the compartment. Make sure the escape strap is attached to the airplane. To open the side window in an emergency, squeeze the lock release in the handle, rotate the handle inward, and slide the window aft. Open the captain's side window now. Drop the free end of the escape strap out the window. This method is probably the easiest for most crew members to exit through the side windows. However, exiting through the side window is difficult and should be used only in extreme emergency. A halon fire extinguisher is in the flight deck for use on flammable liquid and electrical fires. Always put on protective breathing equipment before you use the Halon fire extinguisher. Halon decreases the quantity of available oxygen in the air to extinguish the fire. Other emergency equipment includes a crash axe, flashlights, life vests stowed on the back of each seat, and two escape straps that are stowed in compartments above the side windows. Emergency equipment in the cabin includes a flashlight and a crew life jacket inside each flight attendant seat compartment. Passenger life jackets are stowed under each passenger seat. Portable oxygen bottles with an attached mask are stowed throughout the cabin. First aid kits are stowed in several locations. 
An emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, is stowed here. A megaphone is in each of the proper stowage compartments. Halon at fire extinguishers are stowed in various locations. Self-contained protective breathing equipment, advanced life-saving cardiac and medical equipment kit, or ALSI, and the medical kit are stowed for easy access. Life rafts are installed if required. An escape slide is packed inside each passenger entry and service door. Each operator can have different emergency equipment in different locations. During pre-flight, make sure all necessary equipment is available in good condition and correctly stowed for each flight.